Gordon's crazy day. Gordon the big engine loves pulling the express from Natford to Vickerstown. Some days the runs go smoothly, other days they don't. This was one of those days. At Wellsworth Station, Gordon had to stop because the signal was red. Oh, bother those signals. What is it now? The points had jammed, and they couldn't fix it for another half hour. And if Gordon went over the jammed points, he would get sent down Edward's branch line, and he was trying to get to the main line, Vickerstown. The workmen fixed the points, and the signal turned green. It's about time, said Gordon, and he puffed away. To make up for the last time, Gordon whizzed down his hill. Then he crossed the viaduct. Later, Gordon pulled into Crovin's gate. Hello, Peter Sam. How are you? I'm okay. Oh, very nice day, isn't it? I had a delay earlier, but other than that, my day's going just fine. Mine too. Other than Dungson's complaining. Uh, that engine. Doesn't he always complain? Yeah, but it's all... He's just complaining about everything today. Oh, well. And they had a nice chat. But ten minutes later... Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, well, that means I have to go now. Me too. But I, I have to go in two minutes. I have to go right now. Bye, Peter Sam. Bye, Gordon. And he puffed off. Soon after that, Gordon pulled into Vickerstown Station, the last station on the main line. Ah, ah, overshot the platform a bit there. Never mind, that's, uh, okay. And then the station master came up. Oh, hello, Mr. Jones. Uh, hello, Jordan. Uh, uh, the, 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 the shunter, Rosie, she's broken down. You'll have to send her on coaching. Oh, bother. And then the station master walked away. Ugh. Gordon ran around the coaches, and then... He stopped at them, coupled up, and backed up. After sending his coaches, he was grumpily waiting for the signal to turn to green, but it never did. Just then, the yard foreman came up. Oh, what is it now? The points are jammed. You can't come out of the yard. What? Oh, the indignity. At 6.30 in the evening... Gordon was very angry, as the workmen still hadn't finished fixing the points, and they had to go home for the night, meaning that Gordon would have to stay there all night. Oh, bother! Gordon rolled into the shed, and who he saw really lightened his mood. Scotty! 
Gordon. I haven't seen you in forever. Ah, it feels like that. But the last time we saw each other was last week. Really? Really. That's amazing. Well, time flies. It really does. Uh, okay, guys. Hank? Yeah? I haven't seen you in a long time. I just went on a trip back to America for a while. That's all. Don't worry, I'm okay. Well, I guess we should have a nice conversation then. Great idea, Scotty. Yeah. And they did. They chatted all in the way until the morning. Ah, yes. Have you realized that it's 7 a.m. now? It is? Wow. Well, we stayed up late. Well, you can say that again, Scotty. Yeah, you can. Hmm. Well, uh, now I just need to wait for those points to be fixed. I'm glad I got to stay here. I am too. I'm glad that I got to stay here for the night, too. Yeah, I'm very lonely. I mean, you've got Rosie, but she probably would fall asleep very, very quickly, wouldn't she? Oh, oh yes. Spencer? Ah, uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's, uh, he's, he's in the Duke and Duchess of Boxford house. Ah, uh, and that covers everybody. Wait, how did you have space for me? Wouldn't there usually be an engine here? I'm not sure. City of Truro. They built a berth for him? Yeah. Also, well, actually, it was just an extra berth. Oh, okay, then. That's why, that's how I'm here. Usually, I have this shed all to myself. But that's, I get, I kind of get lonely after Rosie has always fallen asleep on me. Oh, how silly, Hank. Rosie? Yeah? You always fall asleep, don't you? I do. <laughs> and I can't blame myself for it. Ah, uh, yes. Ugh. I've been fixed, haven't you heard? That's nice. Ah, uh, yes. I pissed you off now. And he went.